welcome to Big Tech. This is episode 139. And today, um, I have a Mac slash PC. Well, it's Windows 7 turned into a Mac, but um, I showed you how to do that in an earlier episode. I don't like it anymore. Everything's starting to bother me. Computer's kind of slow. Install's been on here since Windows 7 came out. So you know what I'm going to do? Grab my good old Windows 7 disk that I torrented and install it. So, now this way is generally faster than the rebooting way. The, this way that I'm doing it where I'm in Windows. Okay, so let's just wait for that to come up. I've already backed up all my data onto, so my main hard drive is 232 gigabytes, even though it's a 250. Then I've already backed up all my data onto this one terabyte hard drive. Which is actually 931 gigabytes. Alright, it's starting, so let's just close that. Because we just click run setup.exe. And it'll start up. <laughs> and it's making a bunch of noise. My optical drive is because it's reading the disk. And here it is. Install Windows, Windows 7, install now. Hey, I stole my dock. Setup is copying temporary files. Pretty simple, really. Oh, this is messed. Okay, whenever I put my mouse on the dock, the Mac thing comes up up there. So if we need to do this, just loading. There's the inside of my computer, because I have a window inside it. Okay. We're just waiting for this. <coughs> I'm sorry. My voice is kind of... Let's just... Okay, now setup is started. Let's empty the recycle bin. There it's empty. I still have the Mac loader. Come on, set up. Okay, there. Do not get the latest updates. Um. Let's get click. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll click go online. Searching for installation updates. Why did I click that? Now it's going to take a long time. See, now it says collecting information here. Let's just exit the dock. Um, doesn't really matter. Okay. Two. Okay, that's kind of weird. Because now, it's doing this all over again. Great. Okay, so maybe you don't click go online to get new updates. You can just go onto Windows Update when it's done installing. Or it'll just do that when you're shutting down. Click accept next. You can upgrade. It'll keep all your files, settings, and programs, but that'll only come on when there's another operating system on your computer. So let's click custom. Now, so we have two places to install Windows. Main hard drive, which I named Windows, proxy. Total size 232.9 gigabytes, or my data. I don't want to install my data. Install it over my data. So. Why can't I... It's not letting me format this stuff. I don't want to go without formatting it. This 
it's still annoying. I can't even format it. Okay, whatever. Just click next. This is a problem because they'll all be named, be removed to a folder named Windows. Dot um, Windows old. Okay, so it's collecting information still. It's copying Windows files. This usually doesn't take very long. It's more expanding than this one that takes time. And I'll show you actually after this how to activate Windows Vista and Windows 7, in this case Windows 7, without a product key, because I don't have one. I'll show you how to do that. When we come back. Okay, so we'll go for a short break. And this is definitely right. For now. Alright, so I'm back. Okay, so it's done installing. And it'll say country or region. Now this is the ultimate version, the best one. Not to brag or anything, but so just click next. Type your username, let's make it my username Quinn. But I don't want, yeah, sure, Quinn PC is a good name, whatever. But you can change that, it just has to be dash PC. I didn't have a password. Uncheck automatically activate Windows when I'm online. Install important updates only, 811, that's correct. Oh, it's found in the network, so I'll just click skip though. Because I like to do that when I'm in Windows here. Let me just take a seat here. Because it says Windows is finalizing your settings. Now it doesn't take all that long to install. It took me about 35 minutes. 35, sorry. <coughs> so it was making a bunch of noise. Oh, okay, there. I don't know if my sound is working or not yet. So let's just wait and welcome. Preparing your desktop. This can take some time depending on the speed of your computer. Mine's usually pretty good. Like, I have an AMD Athlon dual core, so 2.5 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 1200 gigabytes of storage. I have a 250 and a terabyte, but <coughs> because they're rounded off, I'll just say it's probably about 1200. This is taking longer than usual. One moment, please. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, some gerbils over there were fighting. But now I'm at my new desktop. Oops, there's a camera. Okay, there. So now I got the new Windows 7 background. Well, I didn't just get it, it comes standard, you know? So here we just got another icon to drag over here. So not connected connections are available. Let's connect to Big Tech Server, connect automatically, connect, security key. There. Okay, it's connected to my server. Okay, so we're connected. Okay, now I'll click. Mm. Okay, so let's click work network. Close. Okay, so there. Now you'll notice that my sound driver is not installed, so I don't have any sound. That's not good. Oops. Click cancel. Then we're going to go into device manager, so devices and printers, because that's just right here. Then just click. It's right here. Let's just go control panel then. Downloading and installing updates. Hardware and sound. 
Now let's just go to where is it? Device Manager here. Oh, and we will also want to configure user account control USC. Okay, so now we're in here. Disk drives, display drivers, monitors, blah blah blah. Sound. High definition audio device. Let's click. Update driver software. Search. Okay, so it's it's already installed. This is strange. Let's click properties. Driver. Let's uninstall the driver first. There is no driver, so I don't know why it thinks there's a driver. Okay, this is so messed up. Okay, this is weird. Anyways, so get all your stuff installed. You know, configure UIC by just searching, going here and clicking UIC. Use your account control settings. Just change it down to never notify. Yes. So that's pretty simple. I'm just going to start my computer because I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Okay, that's pretty simple and easy, if you ask me. So, that's pretty much it. Questions and comments, bigtechrocks at gmail.com. Rocks is R-O-X. Those places are capitals.